I posted a video earlier. This is still March the 1st. And if everything went correctly, my video would have gone up on March the 2nd. And I said that uh, it was that light, fluffy snow that you could brush away with a broom. Well, it hadn't been outdoors yet. It's more what I would call heart attack snow. Heavy, dense, wet stuff. I've already shoveled the snow off of my uh, little back deck here. That's all the shoveling I do. Other than that, I hire it done. Years ago, I was a volunteer ambulance driver, ambulance attendant, before we had uh, the professional paramedics, ambulance people here on the island. This is what we always called heart attack weather. If you were lucky enough to draw this day as one of your days of duty, almost invariably before the day was out, you get a phone call. You have to go transport somebody who has chest pains because they've been out digging in this heavy mess when they shouldn't have been. Anyway, I'm going to attempt to get out to the cabin right through there where you see all of those trees that are bent over. So I'm going to have to put the camera away, close up the lens cover, and uh, get through there so it won't be covered with snow. But I thought today would be a good day to have a fire and to uh, spend some time in the cabin. Not going to be doing much else by the looks of it. Certainly not going to go anywhere on the roads. Well, actually, it wasn't too hard getting through there at all. I didn't get snow down my neck like I thought I was going to. Just ducked under that large birch tree that's bent right over to the ground. Made my way through. And this is what I see. Lovely winter wonderland. I find that hard to say after what we've already gone through this winter. But there's the hoopos, once again covered in snow and up there is where I'm going to the cabin. See if I can't get a fire going for this afternoon. Well, I made it inside the cabin. If you hear something roaring away in the background, that's the stove starting up. I put one of the cardboard boxes that the um, bio bricks come in and some kindling in there. Get it going good and put a couple of bio bricks before I go back to the house. But I just thought I would show you that uh, even though it's snowing out, it's one degree outside and it was two degrees inside when I got here. The stove hasn't had a chance to warm it up any, so it should warm up in here quite quickly. Just hopefully I don't make it too warm. Give you a little look at my latest acquisition here. I went to Canadian Tire the other day and bought this chrome uh, four shelf unit. Uh, I don't know, 50 some inches high, I'm not sure, 30, maybe 3 feet wide, 4 shelves. Anyway, it has been wonderful because I now have the surface of the table back and a lot of the other things that were piled around in various corners in here have found a place where they can go and not be such a clutter and I can move around in here and use the cabin better. I've also ordered, hasn't arrived yet, but I've ordered a Coleman camp stove that runs on gas, propane. Normally they run on the uh, same little cylinder there that that uh, lantern works on. But you can buy an adapter and the length of uh, gas line, hose, flexible gas line. And it can be hooked up to one of those uh, medium-sized barbecue gas tanks which would last much longer and I think probably be more efficient. Anyway, I am thinking about doing that uh, to boil the maple syrup. I could use the wood stove but I would have an incredible heat in here and it isn't that efficient as far as cooking on it goes. So thoughts right now are when the uh, gas stove arrives I'm going to use it in my cooking of the uh, maple syrup this spring, which there will be a video later. I've never done this before, but I've been putting together a video as I go. I've been collecting the sap, small amount so far. But uh, when the process is finished, and I hopefully, hopefully have enough <laughs> syrup to put on a plate full of pancakes at least, I will uh, upload a video on how I did that. It's been gone for a half hour. It's still one degree outside, but it, the stove has warmed it up to eight degrees in here, and I've closed the draft and damper down on it so it will uh, 
warm up faster now. The fire will stop raging and going up. The heat going up the chimney will provide the heat for the cabin. I think when I mentioned the uh, Coleman gas stove that I'm going to buy, I might have made it sound like I'm doing it just for the maple syrup. I had plans of buying it anyway. There's my lunch that I made. Um, I want to be able to cook a little bit out here still in the summertime and the thing that you just saw on top of the shelves there, the uh, that's a little oven that I bought which does not work on the wood stove, can't get heat enough. <laughs> if you got heat enough it would drive you out of the room. Uh, but it will work on a Coleman uh, gas stove. It's made by Coleman, that's what it's made for. So I'd like to be able to fool around with that. As well this summer I'd like to be able to, you know, I'll probably do more camping out here in the summertime than I have this winter. Uh, so I had plans all along what I'm saying to buy the gas stove. I'm just buying it a bit early because I think I have a use for it a bit earlier. I put a, some seed out just before I came in the cabin. Off and on there have been a few birds, but I don't have the paper up to the window that I did earlier, so me moving around tends to scare them off. That's just a couple of dark-eyed juncos. I think other than that, all I've had is a few chickadees, maybe a nuthatch or two. Give you a little look out the door here to show you what it looks like, this winter wonderland. <laughs> that tree is out back of my house, which is, boo, that tree, fair distance from here. I still have not been able to get in the hoop house. It's been, the door has been frozen shut for well, all winter, I guess, basically. I haven't been in there since probably late fall sometime. I think all that happened is that uh, the ground, it's just a dirt floor in there. The ground swelled up behind the door. I can sort of push the top of the door open a bit, but I don't want to force it and break the glass. So I'm waiting for warm enough weather so I can get inside the hoop house. But I guess I wouldn't be doing anything much in there right now. Just I'd like to be able to check on the two fig trees that are are growing in there. Well, I think the storm has mostly stopped. There's still a little fine snow coming out of the air. But and they're saying we get a little more over night tonight, so tomorrow Saturday, and I had plans to go to Fredericton for the day, but I guess that won't be happening. The road conditions will not be too good. Anyway, thank you for watching this little video and update from the cabin. Well, it's almost 4.30, and I'm going back to the house, but what's coming down now seems to be mostly rain. I see a little snow mixed in with it. Forecast says we're going to get some more flurries overnight and tomorrow. There's no end to it, I guess.